in regards to lap bands, I think sometimes um, this legacy operation is really front of mind if people are thinking about what is weight loss surgery. And uh, this is a little bit unfortunate uh, because there aren't many lap bands being performed in Australia anymore. Uh, last year out of the roughly 20,000 weight loss procedures performed in Australia, there are around 200 lap bands placed. And these are being placed by surgeons that may not offer other surgical treatments. I very strongly feel that lap bands should be removed. Um, they are a, a prosthetic device that does have a lifespan with some trials demonstrating that uh, up to 80% of lap bands are removed by the time uh, they reach 10 years. A lot of patients have symptoms, um, they may vomit, they may really struggle to have a balanced and um, nutritious diet um, that's recommended and may find it difficult to have uh, food such as meat or pasta or, or green leafy vegetables. I think this, this form of maladaptive eating um, is important to correct and the, the first step in correcting that is to remove the lap band. Uh, this is a procedure that I uh, perform laparoscopically or keyhole. It's usually a one night stay in hospital and patients are back on their feet uh, within around 10 days. It's a procedure that I, I feel, again, very strongly about and I think that if anybody has a lap band um, in place that you know, may not have even been looked at for many years, come in, have a chat and uh, we'll figure out a plan moving forwards to, to get uh, that quality of life and, uh, and positive eating patterns back.